Hello and welcome to the adventures of Robert Wedderburn. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most distinguished and striking animals and definitely the best dressed animal in Africa, the zebra. There are three species of zebra and six subspecies of zebra, one of which is the quacha, which has been extinct since the late 19th century. These three species of zebra are the Grevy zebra, which is endemic to the savannas of East Africa, the Plain zebra of East and Southern Africa, and the Mountain zebra from Southern Africa. The Plain zebra and the Grevy zebra live in semi-arid grasslands. The Mountain zebra is also commonly found in open grasslands, but this species prefers rocky, mountainous and hilly habitats. Zebras are a nomadic and migratory species. Zebras are short in stature compared to most horses. They are around the height of a donkey and are strong, stocky equines. Zebras are small but a lot stronger than they look and are very capable of biting and kicking to defend themselves. Zebras have bold stripes that cover almost the entire bodies. In areas where there are no stripes, zebras are covered in white, but underneath the zebra's coat, their skin is uniformly black. It's a common thought that the zebra straps are used as a form of cryptic protection and camouflage against predators. This hypothesis was proposed by Alfred Wallace in 1896. His hypothesis was that the zebra stripes break out as general outline and the predators battle to see the zebra as an animal. Although at first glance this might seem a reasonable hypothesis, the zebra straps make them highly visible to predators during daylight on the African savannas. In 1871, Charles Darwin remarked that the zebra is conspicuously striped and the stripes on the open plains of South Africa cannot afford any protection. The zebra stripes are pretty useless when they are standing out in the middle of a grassland, but they are still quite difficult to spot in areas with small shrubs or rocky outcrops. Try to spot these three mountain zebras on this rocky mountain. The zebra stripes are also far more useful as camouflage at night when lions and hyenas hunt. The second hypothesis is that the stripes confuse predators when they are chasing zebras, making it harder to distinguish individuals from the group. It is also hypothesized that this makes it very difficult for predators to judge the zebra's size, speed and trajectory via motion dazzle. This hypothesis has been proposed since the 1970s and in 2014 a computer study showed that the movements of zebras can create a motion dazzle like a wagon wheel effect. The scientists conducting the study concluded that it could be used against mammalian predators or flies. The confusion hypothesis has also been questioned and lions seem to have no difficulty identifying individuals and chasing them down. The third hypothesis suggests that zebras have their stripes in the same way that poison dart frogs are brightly colored to deter potential predators. The fifth hypothesis is that their stripes help zebras control their body temperature and thermoregulate. In 1971, biologist H.A. Baldwin noticed that the black stripes absorb heat while the white ones reflected it. And in 1990, zoologist Desmond Morris proposed that the stripes set up convection currents to cool the animal down. The sixth hypothesis is that the zebra stripes help to deter biting flies, like horse flies, which are responsible for transmitting lethal equine diseases, namely African horse sickness, equine infectious anemia, and trypanosomiasis. It's now thought that although the zebra stripes don't deter flies from a distance, they do make it difficult for flies to land on the zebra when they are closer. So in conclusion, the zebra stripes are most likely to deter biting flies like horse flies and tsetse flies. Zebras reach sexual maturity at around three to six years of age and can live for around 25 years. Zebras are herbivores and a grazing species. Their diet comprises of 90% grasses and sedges. They are known as a pioneering grazer species as they are often the first grazers to arrive in an area and create a pathway for more specialized feeders such as the blue wildebeest and antelope species. Zebras are also known to feed on leaves, twigs and dig up bulbs and tubers during the dry season. Zebras are able to go without drinking water for five days but prefer to drink water on a daily basis. They need to drink large volumes of water every day to be able to digest the large amount of grass that they eat. The main predators of zebras are lions and spotted hyenas. Zebras communicate with various vocalizations, body postures and facial expressions. 
It's also been noted that social grooming strengthens social bonds in the plains and mountain zebras. The zebra's call is one of the most distinct animal calls of Africa and often part of the soundtrack of the African savanna. The plain zebra is a highly social species and form small families called harems, which usually consist of one stallion and multiple mares. These breeding groups are stable and remain together for months to years. Once a mare reaches sexual maturity and has her first estrus cycle, a fight will begin between males from existing harems and bachelor groups to produce with her. This competition will continue between males until the mare ovulates and is impregnated by a stallion. She will remain with a stallion for good. Her estrus cycles become less noticeable to outside males with age, meaning that competing for older mares is virtually non-existent. There are also groups of young males of up to 15 stallions called bachelor groups. Males within these groups will separate and form their own harems once they reach sexual maturity. These harems and bachelor groups can form huge herds, especially in regions where they migrate. Zebra species differ in social behavior. With plains and mountain zebras, living in stable harems consists of a stallion and several adult mares and their foals. While grevy zebras live in solitude or loosely associated herds. In harem holding species, mares only mate with their harem stallion while male grevy zebras establish territories which attract females and the species is promiscuous. A large group of zebras is commonly referred to as a herd, a zeal, a cohort, or a dazzle. Plain zebras' conservation status is considered near-threatened and there are around 500,000 individuals in the wild today. The grevy zebra's population decreased dramatically from 15,000 to 3,000 zebras between the 1970s and the early 2000s. Thankfully, their populations are now stable, but there are still only around 2,500 grevy zebras in the wild and they are considered endangered. The Cape Mountain zebra is considered vulnerable. Their populations were decimated and hunted to near extinction. In the 1930s, there were less than 100 mountain zebras in the wild. The population of the Cape Mountain zebra is now around 2,700 zebras. To put that into perspective, there are now around 5,600 black rhinos and 18,000 southern white rhinos in the wild. Although their populations are increasing, it is truly a privilege to be able to see these zebras in the wild. And it is thanks to the efforts of multiple generations of wildlife conservationists who have made this a success story for conservation. I hope that you enjoyed this wildlife documentary about zebras. If you've got any questions about zebras, then feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, then don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you receive future notifications about my wildlife videos and share this video with a friend. And I look forward to seeing you on my next wildlife adventure.